Good afternoon. We are back with part two of the ADB Linux installation tutorial. This tutorial is going to assume you have already done all of the steps in part one and simply want to add ADB to your file path. To do so, we launch the file manager, navigate to wherever you downloaded it, go to your platform tools, right click, open a new terminal and type PWD for present working directory. As you can see, this is our present working directory. Keep that information in mind and open a new terminal. With this new terminal, you want to type the following. It does not matter which folder you're in, so we'll just simply go here sudo for super user do nano, which opens the default. Um, text editor and then which file we're going to open so squiggly slash dot bash rc type your root password and scroll all the way down to the bottom as you can see these two additional lines you will most likely not have the first says export path equals dot slash home slash the a pan slash android slash slash platform dash tools um, colon money sign and then path capitalized if you'll notice this right here is the exact same path but just copy and paste it right here this is the only thing you will have to change for your individual distro because I'm assuming all of your usernames and the places you have put your folders are going to be different then you can simply copy and paste this line and paste it again but remove the platform dash part for the tools aspect, which will let you launch the Android SDK manager from anywhere. After that, just do control X and that will let you save it. And from there, that is actually all you have to do. You can type Android and the Android SDK manager will pop up, or you can type ADB devices and your ADB devices will come up everything can be accessed from any terminal in any folder and that is it for today thank you for watching and have a nice day